Have you ever browsed the Jet Pens website and thought to yourself, wow, I wish I could write like that? If so, then you're in the right place. In this video, we're sharing some tips on how to improve your printing. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Before you take out a pen and paper, take inspiration from handwriting that you admire. Not only is this a good reference point, it also gives you a goal to work towards. Hashtag handwriting goals. Once you have a few examples, figure out what you like about them and try applying those traits to your own handwriting. For example, if you're concerned with legibility, find a style that features clearly defined letters. Here are four tips on how to write letters neatly. Don't connect letters. Unlike cursive, where letters are connected, printed letters should be kept separate. Avoid connecting letters so that each letter stands out on its own. This will help you avoid tangles and make your writing look neater. Close letter tops. Some letters have portions that should always be closed. For letters like A, G, and O, make sure to close the tops. Otherwise, they can be mistaken for other letters. Make letters distinct. Letters should be distinct from one another. If you're not careful, your L's could look like I's. Letters like A, D, Q, and G could all look similar if you don't extend certain parts. On the other hand, don't make ascenders and descenders too long either. That can make your handwriting look off balance or get tangled with words above and below it. Practice on graph paper. To practice writing letters neatly, consider writing on graph paper. The grid lines will serve as guides as you write your letters. It'll be easier to spot errors than if you're using blank or even ruled paper. Additionally, you can dedicate each box to a letter to practice consistent letter sizing. Opica CD Grid Notebooks are a great place to start. They're inexpensive and pleasantly smooth to write on. The secret to neat handwriting is consistency. If all your letters are different sizes and at different angles, they're not gonna look that good. Lowercase letters should be the same height. If you write an O, it should be the same height as an E or an N. The same rule applies to capital letters. A capital C should be the same height as a capital L. In addition to consistent sizing, write in a straight line. Inconsistent base and top lines are fun to experiment with for calligraphy, but if you're trying to nail the basics, keep your lines consistent. Writing that's too slanted can look rushed and messy. Aim for a slant between 5 to 15 degrees. If it helps, tilt your page slightly. Writing at a slight slant can be more comfortable and make it less difficult to write consistently. It also makes it easier to fake the appearance of neatness. If you try to make your handwriting too straight, it'll be super obvious when a letter is off. The truth is, you're not gonna get any better unless you practice. A good method is to copy letters on practice worksheets. We have some you can download from our website and they're free. Write letters until you feel comfortable with them. Once you've gotten a feel for them, you can move on to combining letters in common pairings, such as or, an, and ing. Then you can practice commonly used words like and, the, and but. This is more realistic to what you'll be writing on a daily basis, as opposed to just practicing single letters. As you practice, remember, write, slowly. If you write too quickly, you're more likely to have uneven letters. Don't forget to take breaks and stretch your hand every so often, or else you might start to cramp up. 
Your pen choice can impact the way your handwriting looks. Be sure to pick a pen that suits the style you're aiming for. Similarly, your carpal tunnel inducing death grip can also impact your handwriting. We usually suggest adapting to a tripod grip when writing, but what's important is that your hand is comfortable and that your grip doesn't strain your hand while you write. If you want to avoid blocky letters, don't write with a marker or a large tip pen. Instead, stick to a low viscosity ballpoint pen like the Uni Jetstream, which writes smoothly and produces crisp, consistent lines. Its ink also dries quickly and lends to a smudge-free writing experience. So it's great for lefties. If you prefer gel pens, we like the Zebra Sarasa. The gel pen comes in a large variety of colors and features vibrant ink with a comfy rubber grip. If hand strain is one of your main concerns, then we highly recommend the Pilot Penmanship. As a fountain pen, it requires less pressure to write, so your hand won't cramp as easily during long writing sessions. It also has an ergonomic triangular grip that helps you position your hand properly. It's also important to consider the type of paper you use. The texture of your paper can affect the neatness of your printing. For example, smooth paper like the Kokuyo Sarasara paper requires less pressure to write on, but may feel a little slippery under your pen. In contrast, the Shikari paper has more grip to it, preventing pens from slipping. If you have any other tips for improving your printing, let us know in the comments below. You can find our practice worksheets and all the products in this video at jetpens.com. Thanks for watching.